Penny, thank you very much. Happening now, the former CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina was in court today related to charges stemming from a crash earlier this summer. Let's go to Bill O'Neill. He is live in Randolph County with details just in from court. Bill? Yeah, really just in. Guilty of DWI, guilty of two counts of child abuse, no jail time, and the case has been appealed. That according to the attorney representing Dr. Conway. The evidence on the impairment, the DWI, was really overwhelming in court today. The video of which you have seen taken by a couple from Salisbury who spotted Dr. Conway weaving all over I-85 last June. That was the main evidence introduced. Also, three officers from the Archdale Police Department all testifying. They found Dr. Conway to be impaired when they arrived on the scene. Bloodshot eyes, the odor of uh, alcohol. And when they asked him to turn off his car, they said that he tried to push the on-off switch. He missed it, another sign of his impairment. The real question today was whether or not the judge would find guilty on the child abuse. The uh, prosecutor said, hey, these kids were put at great risk. Dr. Conway had two daughters in the back of the car, ages seven and nine, ended up crashing into a tractor trailer on an interstate. The DA said these kids could have been killed. But the attorney for Dr. Conway says this law was not meant for this kind of a case, that Dr. Conway certainly did not have any intention of hurting any children, certainly not his own children, and uh, asked for the judge for some lenience on all of that. The judge uh, came back after a two-hour trial found Dr. Conway guilty of all of the counts, gave up a sentence of roughly 24 months, but again, all of that stuff was suspended. There is some community time, there's some other probation time, but again, no jail time for Dr. Conway, found guilty of DWI and two counts of child abuse. The case, according to Dr. Conway's attorney, will be appealed. In Asheboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News. Bill, thank you.